We want to be addressed because we want to have harmony, we want to get everybody on board. My brother Kibwana, you will remember in the last time when we were talking, trying to create consensus, it was a group which came out and said, this constitution is allowing abortion, this constitution is allowing gay marriages, this constitution is introducing Kadi's court, which is against Christianity. We tried to reach consensus, we did not. Then there are those who have said, with this constitution, 80% is good, 20% is bad. Let us first correct it before we pass it. Some of us said, no, let us pass it, then we'll see, as we implement it, to see which one is not working, which is working, so that we review it. And then now the time has come. But when we are saying we want to review it, you are saying you are wasting time. You are bloating the government. I don't know what. Let us talk about what Mutumudogo Kwanza. Mutumudogo, you address. That's fine. But there are very fundamental issues that we uh, need to be looked at and which have been, have, have been contained in this particular document. The same people are now telling us that, oh, there's nothing wrong with this kind of constitution. Let us just deal with the issues of poverty, issues of uh, Juakali, issues of Mamamboga, issues of uh, Wilbaro, and so on and so forth. Those wheelbarrows we look at. But wheelbarrows cannot solve our problem as a country. We, we, the issues are much, much more fundamental than just giving youth the wheelbarrows. So we will move on. You remember, we campaigned here. And we told the people here that we want to move the, our country, take our people to Canaan. That canon is in our constitution. That canon is also in our national anthem. God bless this land of ours. Justice be our shield and defender. May it dwell in unity, peace and liberty. Plenty be found within our borders. A country in the Bible where the plenty is found is Canaan. But that plant was not going to drop like manna from heaven. It has to come to be created through the sweat and toil of the people of Kenya. So we must create an enabling environment where the people of Kenya can create that wealth. Then we can realize the dreams of the founding fathers of our nation. That is what the founding fathers wanted. And that's why I said, yes, that was a senator who told me, we were with Kalonzo. We said we were taking the people to Canaan. I was Joshua, Kalonzo was the Caleb. <laughs> when we reached on the, we left, we crossed the Red Sea, we toiled around the, the deserts of Sinai, and we're now on the banks of River Jordan. Then we found crocodiles. We are Kuta Mamba. We are losing the Kalonzo to find them in the Ganji. We are going to get Kazana, we are going to get Milima again, and we are going to get the Uru Park. But we are going to get the Uru and get the Pandeli. We are going to get the Uru and get the Uru and get the Uru and get the Uru. We are going to get the Uru and get the Uru. Ndiyo tufuki nae, mtu Jordan, tuingie wapi. Sababu nda hitu ya Building Bridges Initiative. So we are building bridges to get to our people to Kana. It's fine. Nobody is talking about 2022. You are saying, Raela alisema, mtafana mweka mitano, alapu ntawachia kanozo. Mimefanya mweka mitano. Sari yangu kani mimi na kalonzo. Sivyo? Ama sivyo? Natakaje? 
Sisi Tumesema at his Raila does not have to be a president of the country. So long as you can deliver our people to where you want to go. You will cannot. What, what we are trying to do is much more fundamental, it's much more important than becoming a, a prime minister, a president, a deputy prime minister, or whatever it is. Kenya is bigger than all of us. That's why we are prepared to make the compromises so that we can advance forward. Two steps forward, one step backward, we are still advancing. That's how it is. So what is at stake here is much, much more important than just what Raila is going to be, what Kalonzo is going to be, what Uhuru is going to be. Let us put those things aside and look at the greater good for our people. I agree with Professor Inclusivity. Okay? And you mentioned the Deputy President. I am not the President. He's his boss. That's Uhuru to talk to him. They're, they're in the cabinet all the times. Okay? So, <laughs> if Uhuru wants to talk, to talk to him and doesn't agree, she shall yaw. Mimi na ingia na mlagani. Ikiwa kama mabwana na bibi wawezi kuhishi kwa moja. Shumigani. Wa Islamu sema, tuwane kwa furaha, tuwashane kwa furaha. Ikiwa kama ni talaka, talaka, talaka muratatu, siyo? Ha, ha, ha.